Hey there, this video is all about the login process for the brand new Fiveable website. We're so glad you're here and we know it may be a little tricky to get logged into things at first, but we're here to walk you through every step of the way. First things first, if you had an account on ours or ours.zone, you can use that exact same login information, whether you logged in through Google, Discord, or email and password to log into the brand new Fiveable website. This is a great option if you had an hours account before because all of the data from that hours account will now be linked to the new Fiveable website. So all of your old sessions, current sessions, completed tasks, all of that data will now be transferred. So it's like nothing ever changed. If you had an account on the old Fiveable.me website, you can use those same login credentials, whether you logged in with Google or with email and password to now access the library.fiveable.me website, which is where all of Fiveable's academic content has been moved. So we are going to go through the login or sign up process right now. If you had an hours.zone account, you can use that exact same information. If you created an hours account with Google, you would continue with Google and use that Google account associated with your old hours.zone account. Same thing with Discord and the email or password option. If you did not have an hours account, but you did have an old Fiveable.me account, you will need to create a new account on the new Fiveable website. That old account information can still be used when you want to look at academic content, which you can access on library.fiveable.me. But for the purpose of this video, I am going to create a new profile here. And we are going to go through the process of what it looks like to have a new account. So we are going to press sign up after entering all of our information. A quick survey may pop up for you. If not, no worries. And this is what the dashboard looks like of the new Fiveable website. So if you want to um, go look at Fiveable's Discover Rooms. You can press this Discover up here. Discover Rooms are created by students for students where you can study in Fiveable study rooms over tons of different topics, and it's a great way to collaborate with other students across the world. If we head over here to library, that will send you to library.fiveable.me, which is where all of Fiveable's academic content has been moved. So you will no longer be able to access content on this dashboard page anymore. You will have to press this library up here. And then we have over here to the right of library is all of our um, profile information, customization, notifications, and account information. And then we can lo log out as well and we can also start a session. So our sessions have now been renamed to Fiveable Study Sessions. So they are pretty much the same thing, um, just revamped a little bit on our new website. So if you want to start a session, give it a name, and here is our session. So we can share the link with others, and you can take a tour if you are confused on what a Fiveable Study Room is and how to use one and get a little familiar with the study rooms because this is what Fiveable is all about. So when we are done, we can end this session and head out back to our dashboard. So this is the brand new Fiveable website. If you have any questions on the login process, if you're confused, if something isn't working correctly, please feel free to head to this chat box down here and we can help you out and we can get your account rolling so that you can study with others and pass all those AP exams at the end of the year. If you have any questions, please let us know and good luck and have fun.